Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat. Now, many of you remember when I got this guy, the uh, SLR, Minolta, SRT. Pretty cool. What I didn't tell you when I got that camera was that it came with three other cameras. And, you know, the one that I was really excited about wasn't actually this Minolta, but it turned out that the one that I got didn't work. It was a Nicromat FT2. But it's stuck. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. It's, uh, hopefully I can get it to work. The, the thing won't, uh, the shutter, the advanced lever won't go. Oh, I wasn't supposed to show you that yet. Sneak peek. The advanced lever for the film doesn't go, and the st shutter seems to be stuck. Eventually I'll figure it out. But, you know, I'm pretty good for like 25 bucks. I got a working SLR and the Nicromat that needs some help. But that's not all. I I'm, Amidst the other cameras that I got was a surprise that you weren't supposed to see, but you saw just a second ago. And I'll show you in just a moment after I get some coffee again. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us. Yeah, still drinking down that good coffee from earlier. Um, yeah, so as I said, you know, I got this uh, this Minolta, which is proven to be very functional and clean and nice. I think it was the best kept of the uh, the lot, obviously. But amongst those other cameras was this guy, a Mamaya Secor MSX 500, and you know, I didn't really know anything about it, but. Uh, it turns out it has a screw mount. It's an M42 mount, which I can get all kinds of lenses really, really cheap because of that. But it's also got some really, I don't know why they're so popular on the internet right now. They've got these uh, Soviet Helios lenses and stuff that are really cheap that I can get. And they could go on this thing. Plus, it gives me an excuse then to get an adapter to use on my the, the camera that I'm recording with right now. But that's not all. Listen to this. So, you know, I, I mentioned the Nicromat was stuck. And, but this one, listen to this. Ha! Still functioning. I mean, it probably needs new light seals and all of that, but uh, just still pretty cool. If I can get this thing cleaned up, it's really dirty right now, I can easily find lenses for it. And then I've got another SLR to go out and take photos with that I'm not going to know what they look like until I get the film developed. But that's not all. I get to get the, uh, the screw mount lenses now. Well, at least I have an excuse. I could have gotten them anyway. There, there was no need to have this camera ahead of time. But uh, now, now that I do, I'll clean this camera up and, well, I'll go out and do all of that. Mamiya, yeah, I think, is known for medium format cameras. This one is not. It is a 35 millimeter regular camera. So not as big. I don't get the 120 film. And I, I don't know that it's really special at all, but uh, still pretty cool. I've got another one that might be functional. I won't know until I actually run film through it. And I won't run film through it because it's so dirty. And I need to get a lens because the lens that came with it is so... Well, okay, there's a zoom lens that also came with it that's really cool. But it looks like it might have a little bit of fungus in there. Uh, it doesn't matter. The lens I don't care about. But... Uh, I can get other lenses really, really cheap, you know, sometimes as cheap as 30 bucks. It's amazing. I got all this for like 25 bucks, you know, that, that's unreal. I got it all for like 25 bucks. I've got all these cameras that I don't know anything about. There's also a range finder in there that I'll have to clean up and see what that's all about in time. Um, I have no idea how to use a range finder, but uh, it'll be interesting to find out. Now I've got all this photography stuff. It's exciting. And uh, my other photography stuff that's digital that I had anyway. Like the lens that I was holding in that last video that goes to my uh, Sony a6500. I've got the Sony a7 IV. What else have I got? I used to have a Nikon. I mentioned that so many times. It's just such a tragedy. It got stolen. Came back to the United States. You know, I we had come back. I had that camera and the a6500. I, uh, for whatever reason, we decided to leave it in the storage because we'd be coming back at some point anyway. And then, uh, well, the storage unit got broke into and bye-bye camera. Bye-bye. Don't ever leave things like that in a storage unit. That's such a terrible idea. But yeah, the guy, they, they stole the, the good stuff. Or at least uh, the things that they thought were good. 
and they just smashed everything else. And somehow the uh, storage unit people were unable to tell me about this until like a few days later. <laughs> I still suspect it was an inside job. Just ridiculous. I mean, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I've got these cameras here. I've still got more. Eventually, I'll get that rangefinder out and show you guys once I've figured it out, how it's supposed to operate. But, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. I'll have to start looking online for the screw mount lenses, you know, the M42 mount stuff and an adapter. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. I better get off of this thing. It's been fun. We'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> จำรักหากไปไกลตา